Hello everyone, Jade Link here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to get Liquid UU Matter for Minecraft 1.6.4. I'm actually playing on the Monster Pack right now, because I just got a new computer, and I started playing on the server, and I had no idea how to use a Liquid UU. Looked up a tutorial, I couldn't find one that actually helped me, because it was a little maybe complicated or maybe in a different language so I decided to just make my own so what you're gonna need to make liquid UU is a mass fabricator a replicator a pattern storage and a scanner so put all of these in the order I have right now uh, what you might also want to do is pump this mass fabricator EU liquid into a tank and then put it into the replicator but if you're on this tutorial you'll probably already know how to do that because you're probably mid to late game which is what I recommend to do this for so you're also gonna need a lot of power for this so I just have a some high voltage solar rays I don't even have like an MFSU or anything to hook them up to just because this is a tutorial um yeah so if the mass fabricator gets power, it'll slowly start making UU. So when this reaches 100%, it'll make UU. But if you feed it scrap, um, yeah, if you feed it scrap right here, it'll amplify it and make it super fast. If you turn this scrap into scrap boxes, though, it'll make it even better. Look at that. Even if I take it away, it'll use the previous one. So yep, it'll start making your UU matter. What you want to do is get a fluid ejector upgrade, put it into here so it'll upgrade or it'll eject all this UU into the replicator. Um, to get the scrap that I was talking about, you're gonna need an igneous extruder. So and a recycler. Put the igneous extruder on top of the recycler. It doesn't need power. The only thing that needs power is the recycler. You're gonna right click it with lava, right click it with water and it'll start making cobblestone that cobblestone is going to go into this recycler start making some scrap uh, I believe it's a 1 in 8 chance to actually get a piece of scrap from cobble so this is just infinite cobble right here so it's infinite scrap I guess <clears throat> you can connect this to a barrel or something which is what I would do so yeah, but I just have this for tutorial sake. So yeah, this mass fabricator, give it if I give it like a bunch of s scrap and stuff, like so, it'll start just getting me a bunch of UU matter, um, which is I guess the easy part because I already have one in my world and I'm basically mid game right now, and that's being ejected into this replicator. So everyone wants to. Um, everyone wants to do a replicate iridium or but I'm not gonna do that just for time's sake I'm gonna do something easy like glass so I'm gonna you're gonna need one piece of the thing you want to replicate so I'm gonna get one piece of glass put that into the scanner let it scan and yep it'll scan um, Okay, never mind. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, this scanner is just going to scan your piece of glass. You can do this with iridium, but just for time's sake later, iridium takes a lot longer in the replicator, opposed to glass, because glass is just glass. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be back when this finishes scanning, because it's only at 20%. So I'll see you guys then. Oh, man, dude. This biome is awesome. Look at all the great wood trees and so oh my gosh, three in one place. So yeah, let's get back to the place I was setting everything up uh, over there. So the glass replication is almost complete. It is complete. So when it's finished, it'll say how much U it needs and how much power it needs. So that is minimal. I believe the iridium ore requires 1 million EU every time. So what you want to do is press save. It'll go into this pattern. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but 
So yeah, after you press save, there should be glass in here. Um, yeah, and then in your replicator, if you press next, there should be a glass. Uh, so I'm still making some more UU, so that'll continue making. I'm just gonna get some more UU, and you can either press single or repeat run for this. If you press single run, you'll have um, you'll have one piece of glass right there. If you press repeat, it'll continuously keep making stuff, and that's how much percent it requires. So yeah, I have enough UU to make all this glass and enough power. So yeah, that is that's, yeah, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. <laughs> and you can increase this stuff with like overclock upgrades, but that's like OP. I wouldn't recommend using overclocker upgrades because because yeah, you see it's faster. Especially when you're trying to make iridium, it's a lot faster. Because UU, uh, it takes a lot longer than the energy to store up, even though it's right here. So yeah, you can use overclock, but I wouldn't recommend it because it just takes a bunch of energy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. And I fail. I fail all the time. If you did, please leave a like. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like more, please like and favorite, subscribe, comment, do what you need to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.